Hello, this is Rob Hirschfeld, CEO and co-founder of RackN, and I'm here today to talk about the Digital Rebar 4.3 release, which we're announcing on February 26th. Uh, in this next 15 minutes, I'm going to guide you through a little bit about what RackN and Digital Rebar are, and then talk about what's special in this release, uh, because there's some amazing features that really enable companies to scale not just within their data center, but between their data centers. But first, a little bit about RackN and how we've provided software that helps do physical layer data center automation. There's a lot of text here. I'm not going to read all of the details, but it's important to understand that RackN was founded with the idea that we could really change how data centers operate from the ground up. For us, that meant starting at the bare metal uh, layer and automating that regardless of what type of infrastructure you have. This isn't virtualization or some layer above. We actually automate physical infrastructure, servers, switches, and storage at the BIOS, RAID, firmware, out-of-band management, operating system provisioning, and all of the other pieces and parts that are necessary to really run a full, a full data center infrastructure. We do that using infrastructure of code and continuous in integration techniques uh, that allow us to really modernize infrastructure in a way that makes it very cloud-like from an experience perspective. And this release, 4.3, reflects 10 years of development starting way back in our very early days um, doing when we were doing open source Crowbar. Digital Rebar was an a early uh, extension of that. And Rackend sells software that is traditional enterprise software. It's run by our customers in their data centers behind their firewalls. Uh, we don't offer a SaaS. We don't uh, require any connections at all. This is literally software that people run for themselves and make their data centers autonomous and independent. Uh, it is a proprietary platform and with an open ecosystem. So we have a tremendous catalog of capabilities that are open and available for people to extend and add as they feast see fit. The technology itself, what we call digital rebar, is a lightweight Golang service uh, and it integrates deeply into the data center's uh, service infrastructure. So DHCP, uh, Pixie, iPixie, out-of-band management using everything from IPMI, vendor tooling, Redfish, um, or in places where you don't have that, such as a Raspberry Pi or a virtual machine. Uh, digital rebar really is able to manage any type of infrastructure, a switch where you only have uh, API controls, we manage that. Uh, something where you can only boot provision and then run the operating system, we also manage that. But if you have a sophisticated enterprise ready server with uh, state of the art out of band management controls, that also can be mixed and matched with other infrastructure. The idea is that Digital Rebar provides a 100% API driven system that provides multi-domain workflows. So when you have to control something using the operating system agent, you can do that, but you can then turn around and immediately talk to it out of band or to the switch or to a system of record. This is what makes Digital Rebar so powerful from an automation perspective. And the fact that we don't care what type of hardware it is, what vendor it is, what operating system you're bringing really makes us uniquely suited to provide heterogeneous control for data centers. And because of the infrastructure's code designs, it is easy to extend, modify, and manage in the field. And that is really what brought us to the capabilities of the 4.3 release, where we've really taken all of these single site capabilities and turned them into a distributed site automation. That's where you're able to take a single system and then manage it in a distributed way. But first, let's talk about what customers are looking for from a data center automation platform. They're concerned that they don't have the autonomy and control to actually run their infrastructure. They're being forced to make a choice that says if you want the type of API driven infrastructure, cloud-like experience, you have to give up control by moving it into the cloud. Or now we have some new options that give you tethered infrastructure that really don't have the autonomy and operational controls that are necessary that for truly autonomous operations. And the reason this is, is because integration is really hard. There are a lot of vendors with a lot of different platforms that are all individually excellent, but don't have the integration to really pull things together. And that leaves every operator having to figure it out for themselves and build their own automation and control planes. At the physical layer, that is really problematic and, and frankly wasteful. And so when you look at what's happened in the industry, we've been 
forced into this false dichotomy of either move everything to the cloud and outsource that or basically have to do it all yourself and figure out how to do these pieces. Racken immediately addresses this problem by providing an integration hub for all of the infrastructure in your data center from that bare metal layer upwards. And that solves problems with scale, security, and speed that haven't been addressed in data centers before. We do this using our unique infrastructure as code approach, uh, fundamentally baked deep into the system and enabled by our intent-driven workflows. When customers use digital rebar, they're actually asking for the final state that they want. So that could be a VMware virtual cloud for foundation system, ESX, Windows, Linux, uh, Kubernetes, it really doesn't matter. We have workflows that are built of modular components that allow you to pick and choose what you want and then drive the systems into a final state. That includes both normal Pixie boot and kickstart pre-seed type deployments, but also much faster and more robust image-based deployments. Uh, we are multi-architecture, so Intel, ARM, AMD, uh, systems, cloud, or physical, uh, all of those are supported. And very importantly, uh, for our community, air gappable, which means that you can run the system without any connection to the internet. All of the content we have can be loaded as a discrete file system and distributed to digital rebar data managed data centers as a controlled version set of content. That makes digital rebar uniquely suited for high security environments. What we've introduced with 4.3 is truly unique multi-site management capabilities. This allows you to create a distributed control plane across multiple infrastructures using our infrastructure as code capabilities to push control configurations into remote distributed sites. And those individual sites are not controlled by the managers, but each remains autonomous. Managers create mirrors where they track and monitor individual sites but the sites never require the manager to operate. Any changes that happen at the individual sites are reflected in the mirrors, and then the mirrors, which are also digital rebar sites, provide a single API across all the mirrors. So an operator at the management site or the global sites can take actions across all connected data centers using the same API tools and capabilities as if they were at a single site, but now able to talk to all of the sites. This type of distributed automation really changes the game for managing enterprises with multiple data centers, but also edge locations where you may have distributed sites with no administrative people on staff or very minimal footprint. It also enables us to look at the infrastructure as a continually integrated data center. This is a concept that Racken believes very strongly changes the ROI for data centers at a fundamental layer by allowing people to approach data centers in a classic dev test production cycle, but down to the physical layer where data center, uh, RAID, BIOS configuration, network topologies, operating systems, application loads on those systems can be treated as, a, as immutable units and distributed in predictable, robust ways across your infrastructure through controlled test de development and production cycles. Uh, also added in 4.3 is improved HA capabilities where digital rebar can HA create high availability configurations directly between two different uh, endpoints, allowing uh, the system to be brought up in an HA configuration with minimal external configuration required. All of these things are very important to building robust infrastructure. So let's talk a little bit about how these are being used. One of our major cases in the enterprise infrastructure automation is to be able to provision something like vCenter. Uh, of course, we provision many different operating systems and platforms, but vCenter, uh, VMware's uh, flagship product, is really very prevalent in the data center. And we're helping customers take uh, servers, in some cases as many as 10,000 servers per month, onboarded, rolled in, discovered, inventoried, conformed, checked, validated, and installed in 60 minutes. Previous process took nearly six months to complete. When you're rolling 10,000 servers into a data center, better be able to do it in an hour. That makes a big difference. And it's not just that we can actually perform all the steps 
check and install software, we actually do a considerable amount of check, verify, and conforming. Able, and that means that we're able to stop mistakes, misconfigurations, or other problems at the very beginning of the process. Inform operators that they have something to change and fix before we continue with a rollout. That in itself saves a lot of time and errors from getting into the field. We've also enabled uh, customers to, to add new vendors into the mix, allowing them to save dramatically on hardware purchases by having an agnostic layer that makes which hardware vendor uh, invisible to the operators at the top of the chain. Another important use case is something like a military application where a battleship might have multiple redundant, does have multiple redundant infrastructure on board. We want to be able to create a single view of all of that infrastructure and a consistent way to automate it in a place where there aren't administrative operators and techs. And you need to be able to con completely control all of that infrastructure with minimal connection uh, from shore or wait until you're docked to then perform a larger scale upgrade. These are critical use cases for disconnected remote operations, the, the very definition of edge infrastructure. The new features in Digital Rebar 4.3 are uniquely suited to this type of environment. Telco is another good example of being able to create many systems in very small footprints. Digital Rebar's uniquely small footprint allows us to run from a switch and manage infrastructure without having to create additional dedicated management overhead in a very limited environment. Our ability to control heterogeneous gear or gear without out-of-band management capabilities means that customers are not limited to a specific uh, brand of gear or a specific management interface uh, or having dedicated networks just for managing infrastructure. Uh, we've also been able to uh, use our distributed automation capabilities to ensure that even if you have thousands or tens of thousands of sites, they are controlled in a consistent, manageable way. Digital Rebar 4.3's version set capabilities allow you to control exactly which sets of automation and infrastructure as code are distributed to each site, managing blue-green rollouts and other controlled infrastructure upgrades uh, throughout the system using this distributed capability. And we've made all this accessible to individuals at very low cost. One of the initiatives for RackN is something called edgelab.digital. Edgelab.digital is a reference architecture that allows edge developers and platform, man platform creators to build a consistent, repeatable design on any hardware platform. This is the exact same software that we're using to manage enterprise data centers at scale, available in a form factor small enough to run on a Raspberry Pi and completely manage a dedicated cluster. That means for under $500, developers can play with real edge infrastructure with real management tooling in a way that would scale into much more mature or even more intermediate off-the-shelf commodity hardware. Uh, this allows for a really deep integration without being locked into one specific hardware platform or operating system. This really changes the game by making it accessible to a very wide audience and then anybody using the Edge Lab has confidence that work they do in this lab can translate into the field with minimal modifications. Thank you for listening. We really believe that the core of building strong, robust infrastructure is having something that embraces the brownfield, green sky, and blue sky of the infrastructure. That people in existing brownfield and brownfield situations are delivering value today, and they shouldn't be told to change their infrastructure to meet the current latest shiny capabilities. And we focus on helping them do that with the infrastructure, topologies, designs, and processes they already have. At the same time, we do adapt to change and bring in greenfield capabilities where there's something new or the latest components are available. We want to make those easy to adopt. And those capabilities mean that we're ready for the blue sky, that the thing that's coming tomorrow won't disrupt what you've already built because we've designed our systems with change in mind, where we expect things to be different and we embrace the fact that every data center has something unique 
and that the diversity of the data centers that we see in the field today are actually the thing that drives innovation tomorrow. We hope you'll take a closer look at Digital Rebar. Uh, we've enjoyed having uh, your attention for a couple of minutes. Uh, if you have questions, please visit our website, racken.com, and you can drill into more details about version 4.3 of our product, or download it and try it yourself from uh, portal.racken.io. It'll guide you through our self-trial, and we really encourage people to test drive the software and prove it for themselves. Thank you.